Did you? Yeah. Like I nice. wrote him again, and That's he chose to and had to get out. And you got out. Yeah. And you won. Yeah. Escape like, the rock. But it was like, <laughs> huh, like a nails PA tournament. Yeah. All right, here we go. 160 fun. You want here? Here. Why don't you just I mean, Why don't you just sit here and help me here? Division one. We got a local Cincinnati guy for you. Uh, we got Harrison here looking at Brett McIntosh and Harrison taking on no more rank. Connor Brady of Orange Energy Liberty Ironman champ. You were in the Ironman finals. Yeah. Right. You were runner yeah. up to was it Kolioko? No, uh, Mastro. Mastro Giovanni, right? Yeah. So Lucas Bird here on the call here. He's helping out. He just did a quick interview. Um, Division one is going to be interesting this year. I'm super pumped for it. Will and Tangy Liberty would be a team in the conversation if they had you know, they got two big dogs and then what the, one of their, their like third or fourth best guy. He moved to Perrysburg in Saito. Yeah. Right. So now I'm saying two dog race here, man. As I say that, Brady in on a deep right hand head inside single leg. We're going to score here. I got a couple questions for you. You can answer while this match develops. And Brady up 2-1 here on McIntosh. Okay, why Maryland? You're going to Maryland. Why well, are you going to be a Terrapin? You know, I love the coaches. I love, like, the, the atmosphere that when I kind of got there, I was like, you know, like, this felt like home. And then, I mean, kind of being in the room and seeing, interacting with the guys, it just kind of all got better. Like, it, kind of that family atmosphere kind of hit me. Okay, so you are defending Division One state champ for Cincinnati LaSalle. Now, Lucas Bird, once again, to give people context who I'm talking to. Uh, Lucas is defending champ at 13. Yeah, 113. And now you're at 20. As I say, that Brady scores another nasty takedown to run his lead 4 to 1 over McIntosh. Um, but, okay, so you, you knock off Shaver in a tight final, right? 1 0. 1 0. Yeah, it was 4 3. 4 3, but, okay. So the funny thing about there's there's a really funny thing in that match. Uh, it's, I want to say it's going into the third period. At the end of the second, there was like three seconds left, and there was a false start, and the clock said one second, and I let Shoulder go with one second left. Really? Yeah, like it was. Okay. It was, it was you a, just told me some crazy story about Escape the Rock. Yeah. <laughs> what happened at Escape the Rock? Um, I mean, it was kind of in the moment. I mean, I didn't have my, because it was sad, we have mandatory and like your secondary, and my brother had to stay home for a funeral, so I didn't have my secondary coach, so he used to like, catch his stuff, and my head, like, coach Root was kind of like, we're going top, like, we're going to ride him and win. It was where you should have gone bottom. Yeah, and we come, we come back, and we like went out of bounds, and he called injury time, we come in, and he's like... I messed up. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, Brady's gonna pin him here. Yeah. Hold on. I was saying that Brady yeah, tries to tight. rip McIntosh's head off, nearly does so, but picks up the fall. But finish your finish your story, go. Oh, so it was it was like I messed up. And I was like, well, what do you mean you messed up? And he was, he was like, you have to ride him, and then you like you're probably gonna have to get out the win. And I was like, well, that like changes everything. <laughs> But like, you did it. Yeah, I did it. You did it, it and you cool won. on that part because last year was a one-up match. And for the finals. 